All right, everyone, a quick update for Orca for all you guys out there wondering where this thing is headed to. So we had this scenario right here drawn this morning, which did not play out. We actually did bounce and hold the 382 here. So we're going to move this little squiggly line up. So it looks like this is what's in play. We came in, we held support here at 90 at the 382. We're getting rejected up here at the 236 at about $1.09. And if we come back down... We really need to hold this red box here to stay, uh, to stay super bullish on Orca. So if you come back down here and you hold this box anywhere from 90 down to your 200 day moving average, or wherever that may be. Right now I have the box at 83. So from 83 to 90 is your price to hold to stay extremely bullish on Orca. Um, if we end up losing that and this does play out, your last line of defense down here is the 0.5 at 77. If we come down here on 77, we could still bounce and we're still considered uh, bullish in my opinion. But if we come down here and we lose 77, this is probably your top top and this thing is just going to start uh, coming way back down. So if you pull back, watch 90 to 83. If you break that and you break back below the 200 day moving average, um, 77 is your last line of defense to hold for support for this thing to still be bullish. And for a move higher, a couple of prices for you guys to watch. The first one is here. I drew a red box on top of this 236 here. So anywhere from about $1.09 up to about $1.12 is your first resistance area to break through. If we can break through that red box there, then our moon line pretty much is up here. Pretty much $1.30, but I'm going to say $1.28 to $1.30. If we can break through that, then Orca is really, really going to go to the moon. Um, there's really nothing stopping it from pretty much coming all the way up here to $2 where I have this purple line drawn here, which doesn't seem like much, but from where you are right now is a pretty decent move. So if you break through both of those resistance levels, I would imagine this thing's going to fly all the way up here to 2 bucks, and about a 95% move uh, would be your next resistance, macro resistance that is, on Orca. So... Just watch those couple of prices there. If we end up getting over two dollars, then we'll just we'll you know we'll reassess what's going on and take it from there. But for now, you have a couple of upside areas to watch for resistance, and you have your support levels to watch for on Orca. So with that said, now financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. Peace out.